Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. <clears throat> Oops, India caught red-handed. So uh, there's a little problem here with India. Uh, that a little problem. I had a. I used to have a friend. He used to be my best friend, actually, uh, who uh, had this little, uh, you know, verbal uh, kind of uh, talking when he said, "Well, let's say we were doing something." were pre preparing to go in the mountainside, you know, to hiking, hiking, you know, with a tent for 10 days or so. And uh, we were organizing everything. And then in the last day, we would meet and he would say, well, Emil, that's a little problem. We, ha we, we have a little problem. Now, that little problem was actually a very big problem that actually canceled the whole event. But he always said we we and the event was canceled because he had something to do so let's say he couldn't come anymore or he had to cancel something but he always said always said little problem and we and i was like it's a big problem and it's you <laughs> and yeah it affects me too but we have we have a big problem no you have a big problem and you canceled it so it's you but I learned that every time he was saying, hey, we have, we have a little problem. <laughs> I knew it was the biggest problem that we could pro probably have in, uh, in doing what we wanted to do. The same with India. We have a little problem. India has a little problem. I don't think it's a little problem. I think it's a big problem. But I caught myself, oh my God, I remember now this guy. So uh, let's go to this um, article from Reuters, August 13. Uh, and... Uh, is this is the title us says india hid russian origin of fuel shipped to us so it's something that we all knew or at least we above 86 iq we all knew that india did does and will do they will buy very cheap russian oil they will mm, temper it if they can sell it process it or whatever they do with it and sell it some other markets that the russians could not sell it over there directly and they are the intermediaries and they will make money probably they're going to give something to the russians they give the initial uh, you know buying the oil at a very small price so they can make a profit in the process and they do so shake hands thank you very much see you tomorrow so let's get into this and see what are these guys saying so the united states has expressed concern to india you see now is now is the first step just concern and then it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that it's gonna be that and it's gonna be that but India is not uh, you know Romania or uh, Libya or Iraq or you know this kind of uh, below 20 million people you know that's a uh, more than that right one billion and a half or so so it has to uh, be careful and has nuclear weapons as well close to uh, uh, Russia and China closer i'm talking with the heart <laughs> or with the interest not heart the interest is better put so the united states has expressed concern with to, to india that it was being used to export it was being <laughs> it was being used so india was like oh my god we didn't know that you oh my we gotta change something <laughs> it was used is a victim so india is the victim here if you can <laughs> can guess who's the victim being used to export fuel made from russian crude through high seas transfers of high hide its origin the new york in violation to new york in violation of u.s sanctions a top indian central banker said on saturday here's on the payroll we know that of some the u.s treasury department told india that an indian ship picked up oil from a russian tanker on the high seas and brought it to a port in Gujarat. On the west coast where it was refined and shipped on said reserve bank of india deputy governor michelle patra or michael patra u.s sanctions on monday on moscow for its february invasion of ukraine prohibit the import to the united states of russian oil origin energy products including crude oil and refined fuels distilled distills coal and gas and i'm quoting the refined output was put back on that ship and it set sail without destination 
in the mid seas it received the destination so it reached at its course went to new york uh, patra said at, a, at an event celebrated 75 years of india's independence the u.s embassy in new delhi said it had no immediate com comment patra's comments are india's first official public reference to such u.s concerns delhi had not joined the sanctions against russia or condemned that moscow calls a special operation in its neighbor patra said he was told that russia crude was pr processed and converted into distillate used for making single-use plastic he did not identify the indian vessel or refiner so india the world's number three oil importer and consumer rarely bought russian oil in the past but since the war started india refines re refiners had been snipping up discounted russian oil shunned by many western countries and companies about three countries western countries who cares there was that's the rest of the world who doesn't care um or at least at least we know that uh countries who had the uh, balls and uh, the courage or about the core uh, no at, yeah quarter about a quarter uh, and that showed the united nations who condemned it who did not condemn so who had the courage to or to you know when it was about the vote and that was what 140 countries uh, voted in uh, the big clubs uh, who was overseeing who's voting against it now and who's voting for that's how it, it occurred <laughs> now, you're voting for right <laughs> and who's voting against let me give me the other one who's voting against i think that's how it was at the united nations i don't think they don't even i don't think they even have to do that because they already know it they imagine when they look over there at the states they're like oh my god he's got that one or the other one which one he's got the big one or the the little ones oh my so yeah the rest uh, about what about 60 countries let's say a third almost of, of, of this world uh, voted did not did, uh, obtained or uh, voted against this resolution and tra -la -la, blah 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 or something like that if i remember correctly so india it plays double is in the uh, BRICS. you know it's not in uh, with the united states in any as, as far as what is uh, in the g7 is in g20 g20 so he's right over there he's doing great but it plays at two ends like many other countries they're looking to see okay this is russia if we can something and we can uh, you know um, it's our interest we can uh, how do you call it profit out of this we do this profit out of this and as uh, their fantastic india's fantastic uh, foreign minister it's called differently uh, secretary of the foreign affairs or something Jai Kanshar, I think something like this is his name, Jai Kanshar, Jai Kanshar. I always, psh, 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 but you, if you look for him, you know who I'm talking about, a very, very, very intelligent person and with balls. And uh, he uh, said, well, nobody tells India what to do and uh, how to conduct ourselves in the world. And if this is in our interest, we're gonna do it as you guys do it. So it like positioned itself on the same level with the big guys who uh, always call everybody else names for this and violations for human rights and all that which might be but uh, you're not clean either so uh, you know keep it keep it lower a little bit like he was uh, like biden was smacked by saudi arabia you know <laughs> from um, what uh, bin salman mohammed bin salman the crown prince when uh, the u.s gen generation when u.s uh, uh delegation uh, said oh how about uh that journalist kasogi kasoji how about that one was killed by you guys blah, 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 blah. Well, how did uh, salman respond he said well how about uh, those uh, crimes and uh, those torture uh, events that occurred in iraq by you guys how about that was not a violation so keep it low because everybody does it it doesn't mean that we have to be agreeing with that but you don't come here and lecture me when you did the same thing uh, to others so you know keep it low because i didn't start a conversation like this i can smack you back which he did and the americans were like oh, 
uh, we need your oil, so we better shut up. And we're going to change you, buddy. We're going to change you pretty soon if you keep your mouth like that. That's how that God goes through those guys' heads. How do I know that? History. Just look at it. Look at the events. Look how they function. Uh, how is that? Uh, law run um, world or world order based on uh, the rule of law. <laughs> this is my little violin. want to play you uh, what? What do you want to play today? Still uh, Paganini or we go to Vivaldi? Or do we go to Mozart? I don't know. I think we should go to uh, some others today. But Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.